Hey, boots. How is your revenge plan going? Not good at all. Well, for now, it's stagnant. His parents are overseas and have begged him to ask them to come down to Nigeria. How possible is that? He said he's going to tell them to come down and I just hope he fulfills his promise. He promised? Okay. Let's believe he will convince them to come back. What are you going to do? What sort of dumb question is that? I'm just going to stare at them and lick their feet. Is that what you want to hear? Look. Babes, why don't you just report this case to the police? I mean, now that you have evidence. What evidence? I don't have it anymore. You don't get it. Someone removed my parents' pictures from that room and I suspect it's Bobby. Then just leave everything and allow Kama to deal with them. You said they say Kama is a bitch. And you know Valerie happens to be that bitch. You look fabulous. Thank you. Where are you up to this evening? Ladies night out. <laughs> I thought this every last Friday of the month. So why are you going out today? Or is there someone? Mom, really? Really? No, there's nobody. I saw this new joint that I really, really love. And I want um, Angel and I to, you know, hang out there. Maybe my Mr. Wright, I might find him there, you know? <laughs> You never cease to amaze me. With all these handsome, cute guys running after you to make you their wife, and you keep refusing them. Now you are going out to one unknown joint to look for Mr. Wright. Maybe I don't fancy any of them. And maybe I might find my Mr. Wright in this new joint. Who knows? I never can tell. Okay, just be very careful and remember to come back on time. I will, and I'm glad you really, 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 really understand more. Mwah! <laughs> Wish me well. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. What will you do? Would you seek revenge? Would you want to avenge? Avenge your loss. Whoa. Where did you say where are the ones from now? Ah, she went for a ladies' night out. Ladies what? Ladies' night out. You know I don't like her keeping late nights. Don't worry. She will soon be back. Ah, oh, what a night. But we should have stayed a little longer. Hmm? Yes, I was beginning <laughs> to enjoy the joint. <laughs> she was talking. I'm sure your parents are calling the police already. On who? On you. You're not serious. <laughs> me, a big girl like me. For me. Yeah, right. It's not possible, man. Daddy's girl. Go, go home. Are you for real? <laughs> Angel, I'll treat your mess up, man. So, um, we do this again tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow. Daddy's girl. Good night. Good night, Daddy's girl. I'll flog you. <laughs> So be good. Yeah, you too, darling. You're safe. Call me when you get home. Yeah, I know. Shut up, oh, we're here for business. On your knees. 
Shut up, we are here for business. Question. You came to deliver a message. Please, don't harm us. I'll give you anything you want. Please, please. Well, we've got a message for both of you. The chief wants you to say hi to your ancestors. Jesus! Jesus! Do you hear that? See this someone on the road. doing it this early.
Thank you. You will get it. This is the only thing keeping me sane. <clears throat> it's over two years. The police are yet to find my parents' mothers. They have even swept the case under the carpet. They never tried their best. Oh, really? Look, you, you shouldn't give up hopes. I've given up hopes. In fact, say I'm frustrated. All my efforts have been proved abortive. I won't have peace until I find those killers. I will. Babe, I need more drink! Don't give up our clothes. Hello, um, beautiful ladies. Can I join you guys? So where were we before this human being came here to interrupt us? Like I'm pissed! Are you stupid or something? Do you know who's talking? Hey! Let's get back. Yeah. Angel, do you want... Come on, stop it. Why are you tracking me like that now? What is it? Do you know who you just spoke to? I don't understand. How is that my business? Oh, is it because I came into a bodyguard? Do you live in this vicinity at all? I don't get you. That guy is more dangerous than his bodyguard. Oh, does he know me? And how is that my business? His name is Bobby. Okay. He's the number one mafia in this area. Everybody knows and fears him. Oh, well, my name is Valerie. Does he know me? Oh. Nobody says no to him. Did you just say he's a mafia? Yes, and very dangerous. Wait. He's a mafian, so he sure knows what goes on around here. I mean, it's only obvious. Why do you ask? Do you know where he lives? How am I supposed to know where he lives? I heard he lives somewhere around there. Safari Estate. Mm. Why do you ask? Because I might be needing his help. Are you mm. out of your mind? That guy is dangerous. You dare not go close to him. Don't worry, because he's dangerous. You watch him. Can, can you just listen to just me? That guy follow is my lead. dangerous. I know. Follow my listen, lead. Okay. Nobody says no to him. To Bobby, right? Can you just <laughs> listen to me? No problem. I know this guy. I know him very well. I know what he's capable of. Then that's why you should watch me. Follow my lead. You always don't listen to me. That's a problem about me. <laughs> you know, that's I always am telling you. I... What will you do if you lose all that there to you? What will you do? What will you do if all you love is snatched away from you? What will you do? Will you seek revenge? Yes, why? The, the, the boss. You have an appointment. Yes. You are thank you. Your soul that seeks revenge is so dangerous. Oh, a broken heart, a wounded heart that wants to avenge the loved ones are dangerous. Better not be at the receiving end. I'll, they I'll see your boss. Anything to see to your end. What it is. I'm his friend. I'm his childhood friend. He told me to come and see him. Who sent you? Nobody sent me. No, no, nobody. He he told me to come. We we grew up together in the same neighborhood. Do you have a death wish? Wish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm his childhood friend. He told me to come and see him now.
You. <laughs> yeah, you from the bar. <laughs> I, I remember. Lucas. Come and sit. same time, I can't sleep with him. No way. Of what use is my dignity if I cannot avenge my prayer's death? What do I do? Hey girls, we're back. <laughs> now are you deep in thoughts? What are you thinking about? Nothing serious, sir. What we give you do? Which Bobby? What are you talking about? Bobby, same Bobby, same Bobby. No. Same Bobby, same Bobby. no.
Hello, pretty sexy. My name is Fabian. Hope you don't mind if I sit with you. Hi, Anson. Wow! You look so beautiful. Thank you. You look so yummy. Thank you. <laughs> I wish I could eat you right now. How do you mean? I mean, take you to my house. Treat you like a goddess that you are. Take you to my bed. Make you scream my name as you do the do do. Are you ah! What are you doing here? Stop it, stop it, stop it, sorry, let's go! What? What is my what is my bag? drunk and cozy up with, with, with a guy? Shamelessly? By the last time I checked, I could do whatever I want with my life. No, you can't. You are mine and no one can touch you except me. But we're not dating. You have nothing on me. Listen, from henceforth, you're under house arrest. You wouldn't go anywhere. That wasn't our agreement. Look, I want to go home. I want to...
My goodness. What's my mom and dad's picture doing here? You didn't have to do that. So getting your fruit is a bad thing? You didn't have to torture him. What are you talking about? Well, I heard you torturing Fabian. Yes, he took advantage of you. I thought it wise to teach him a lesson. But you also took advantage of me. I brought you a deal and offered to pay, but no. You preferred to take advantage of me. I didn't take advantage of you. Of course you did. I mean, we had a deal. You agreed to it. No, I didn't... You cajoled me to do it. I didn't force you. You did. Okay, fine. I'll find out who is responsible for your parents' murder. And after that, I'll, I'll let you go. I'm sorry I took advantage of you. Hello. Good. Yeah, I need you to find out who is responsible for Mr. and Mrs. Anna just dead. Here. Yeah. I need the information as soon as possible. Thank you. Well, please just find out who my parents kill us all. Alright. I'm done with my investigation. And I found out who killed Mr. and Mrs. Regina Charles and I know. I should have listened to you, really. Well, it's not too late. You can back off. I can't! What do you mean? I now know who is responsible for my parents' death. Who? How, how, how did you find out? I was just going through Bobby's books, house. I entered a certain room. And then I found a file. What, what file? In that file are pictures of people they've murdered. <gasps> and I found my parents' pictures there. 
Oh my goodness. I told you these guys are dangerous, but you never listen. I know, initially I thought Bobby was responsible, but I was on my way out and I overheard Bobby and his bodyguard talking. His parents killed my parents. What are you going to do now? I'll kill them. No, you can't kill a mafia. You're not experienced. I'll learn from the best. Honestly, you need to take it easy. Your life is at stake. Angel, I vowed to kill whoever killed my parents. And for this, I will survive. Would you seek revenge? Would you want to avenge your loss? Would you want to avenge your loss? Would you want to avenge your loss? Would you want to Growing up for you, like. Do you still feel pains in your shoulders? No, I'm good. Alright. Growing up was really tough for me. You know, I learned to do a lot of things by myself at a very tender age. Things like what? <laughs> I like to see your parents, actually. I don't hear you talk so much about them, oh. and they don't come here to visit. That's because they are overseas. Yeah? <laughs> really? Yeah. I'd, I'd like to see them. That's not a problem. I can arrange so that we can see them next week. We just travel and, and see them. Um, uh, I actually have a phobia for flights. I like them to come over. Why can't you tell them to come here? You should come down here. Sweetheart, that's going to be really difficult. Considering that they're not supposed to be back anytime soon. I was supposed to go pay them a visit during my vacation. I thought you said you'd do anything for me. Convince them to come down here. I'd like to see them. Okay, um, 
I'll work out something. Really? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. I'd like to see how they look like. Anything for my baby? Hey, babes. How is your revenge plan going? Not good at all. Well, for now, it's stagnant. His parents are overseas and have begged him to ask them to come down to Nigeria. How possible is that? He said he's going to tell them to come down, and I just hope he fulfills his promise. He promised? Okay. Let's believe he will convince them to come back. What are you going to do? What sort of dumb question is that? I'm just going to stare at them and lick their feet. Is that what you want to hear? Look. Babes, why don't you just report this case to the police? I mean, now that you have evidence. What evidence? I don't have it anymore. You don't get it. Someone removed my parents' pictures from that room and I suspect it's Bobby. Then just leave everything and allow Kama to deal with them. You said they say Kama is a bitch. You know, Valerie happens to be that bitch. My friend, this whole revenge thing is taking a toll on her. God, please help her. Hey, come on now. Wait, I have a surprise for okay, you. Okay, hold on, hold on, just hold on. <laughs> I'm not in the mood, really. So. Trust me, you like this surprise. What I told you to do for me, have you done that? Wait! Wait. No! <laughs> you can say it. Don't touch me! That's the surprise. So, that is the surprise. You seriously told you to come over the rents. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Dad, Mom, this is the lady that has stolen my heart. <laughs> What's your name, young lady? Valerie. Valerie Aka Akachiku. Akachiku. Yeah. You look like someone I know. Do you know what Regina? Oh, oh yeah, uh, my Regina. Mom's... No, no. Do you know who? Uh, hey, mommy, obviously not. Uh, she hope she, she doesn't. She doesn't know any Regina, mom. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What state are you from, then? <laughs> I'm from Anambra. Abia State. Mom, you, Dad, you know, of course you should know Abia State. I mean, why should I think you don't know Abia State? Bobby. <laughs> yeah, Mom. Can you please let the lady answer? She's uh, not deaf or dumb. Uh, yeah, I know, Mom. You know, you're asking too many questions, and I don't want the questions to, you know, wear my beautiful lady down. So, yeah. <laughs> Bobby. Dad. You told us you want to marry this young lady by the end of the month. Here we come. <laughs> why the rush? Dad, you know, beautiful ladies with good characters these days are not easy to come by. So, um, I, I don't want to lose her. You know, there are a lot of, you know, wild people out there. So, I just, you know, as a matter of fact, we shouldn't be talking about this. Uh, you guys need a really good meal. So, I would um, tell someone to get you something to eat while we just sort some things inside. All right, welcome, Dad, Mom. Welcome. Bye. Yeah. Did you notice, Bobby? I think he's hiding something. Why should you lie to them? My son's name is Anayo, not Akachuku. My mom's name is Regina Anayo. And we're from Anambra State, not Abia State. Don't put your voice low, you're shouting. Alright? I said what I said for you. So just go with whatever I told them about you, please. Bobby, you're acting strange. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. 
I don't just want my mom to put clothes into our affair. And you have to lie to them that we get married by the end of the month. I did it to lure them back. I don't understand, but, but, but that's a lie. They are going to be upset when they find out it's a lie. Yes, I will come up with an excuse as to why it didn't happen. Tell me to calm down. Our son is in love with the enemy's daughter. And you're saying I should calm down? <laughs> you're not even sure if it is her. Yes, I am. I am sure. I made my findings yesterday. She is Regina's daughter. She's Valerie Anayo. Yes. Regina Anayo's daughter. I thought those fools cleared everyone in that family. Elvis! Daniel! I summoned them, they are coming. This boys must be mad. You idiots. Two years ago, you were asked to go and wipe out Mr. and Mrs. Regina and Charles and I, your family. You came back and told me everything was successful. What happened? And how come the daughter is still alive? Well, I remember the mother at Ivory Estate, and we both killed every living thing present in that house on that day. Shut up! We said the whole family, not those present. Now my son is in love with their daughter. This is your mess. I had better clear it. Yes, you go fix it. But this time, no mistakes. No mistakes! You must not kill her in the house. And my son must not know about it. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Now get out. Out from here! Leave! Stupid. Bunch of idiots. Can you imagine that rubbish? I'm sorry. Uh, Bobby said I should offer you this. Oh, okay. Mm. Thank you. Uh. Yeah, welcome. But where is he? Uh, in his room. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. So just feel free. Oh. said Bobby was here.
I told you to keep an eye on her. And now you let him take her away. If anything, shh, listen. If anything happens to her, trust me, I'm not gonna spare you. Are you serious? Yes. Really? Okay. Uh, thank you very much. You're a lifesaver, okay? Um, make sure no one knows that you are spying on them. Make sure you monitor your movement. If anyone finds out you are spying on them, you know my mom and dad, they don't forgive. Nice one. Nice one, bro. All right, bro. Yeah. You're in my house. How, how did I get here? I, I don't get it. I don't understand. I'm having a headache. Bobby's bodyguard brought you here last night. He said someone is after your life. And he instructed me not to let you out or let anyone come in. Someone is after my life. Who is after my wife? I don't understand whether I'm safe with Bobby. I, I don't get it. He said when he comes, he will explain. You see what you're doing to yourself? I warned you from the onset. I told you about this guy. Who is there? It's, it's Bobby. It's Bobby. Please let me put it up, please. You. I died over a thousand times looking for you last night. What's going on? Sweetheart, they are looking for you. Your life is in danger. And as it is, you're not even safe here. I would have to move you and Angel out of this place very soon. I don't get it. Who is looking for me? I don't I don't understand. Listen, it's complicated, okay? And I'll explain everything to you later. All right, but if you notice any strange movement, do not hesitate to call me. Okay. Um, I'd have to be on my way right now. Bobby, uh, hey, 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 shh, 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 listen. All right, it's for your own good that I leave. And trust me, I got your back. I won't let nothing happen to you. Trust me. you Where the hell is this place? Well, we came in here together in the dark. How am I supposed to know? And look, you see where your stubbornness has landed us? I warned you about this. Just calm down. I'm even calling Bobby. He's not picking up. Calm down. Bobby. 
place is this? Alright, listen, okay, this is this is a safe place and no one is gonna come here to find you guys. And please do not open this door for anybody. If you need anything, just call me. Okay, I don't understand. How long are we going to live like this? Soon, don't worry. My parents are traveling. Something urgent came up and they, they have to leave tomorrow morning. When they leave, everything is going to be fine. Trust me. I don't want them to know that someone is after your life. And who is after my life? Who wants me dead? What did I do? The people that killed your parents found out you were alive and they want you dead. But wait, what did my parents ever do to them? What did they do to them that they didn't tell me? I don't understand. What happened? Um, you have to lock this door always, all right? And don't open it up except for me and Lucas. Is that clear? Okay. All right, we'll leave it now. Calm down, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I put you in this mess. I'm sorry. Just calm down. Everything will be okay. I know, I see, I'm on a, I, I know what I'm doing, okay? Do you understand? Just trust me. Trust me on this. Who are you calling? Just calm down, calm down. Hello? Um, look, 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 look. Hold on, something came up here. So I need you to monitor my house where I live. If you see anybody around, just know the assassins. Kill them. Kill them, yes. I mean, that's something to do with my parents' kills. Trust me, it's okay. You guys are useless. You could not carry out a simple operation. What's wrong with you? Well, we did, but uh, um, our plans was foiled. This time, she needs to be eliminated because she is bad news. Do you hear me? I will promise you um, this time will not fail. I need it done tonight. I need you to carry out the operation. Obviously, just keep an eye on Bobby. Do you hear me? Yes, Do I make myself clear? Yes, I just hope she doesn't get us killed. Oh my god. Where were you? Babe, I've told you to calm down. I was I'm losing everywhere. my mind. What are you up to? Do you want to get us killed? You could easily be seen. Calm down. Sit down. Just, just calm down. Control, okay? Do you realize our lives is at stake? I know, babe. Trust me. This is not funny. <clears throat> what is wrong with you? Look, you. I've been noticing you for a while. I, I hope it's not what. I am thinking. What are you thinking? You're pregnant. I don't know, we did it just once without protection. I'm confused. Who, what are you confused about? You can't possibly have a baby for someone whose parents killed yours. This is over. Just calm down. Hello? Are you serious? You mean they arrested them? All of them? They arrested those assassins. They arrested those assassins. Hello? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Where are they now? Police station, really? Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. I rested your success. One down. I mean, three to go. I can't believe this. I'm achieving my aim. <laughs> Take it easy. I'm so happy that you are finally free now. I have taken care of everyone that wanted me dead. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So right now we are going to drink to celebrate your freedom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, can't wait to do this. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> to freedom! To freedom! <laughs> hmm. uh, there you go, darling. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. And that's for me. Yeah.
Let's get married immediately. 